Welcome to the world premiere of Iliad uh, Catamaran's 70 footer, uh, shown for the first time at the Sydney International Boat Show 2019. The Iliad 70 was uh, designed with one major thing in mind, and that was to travel long distances to circumnavigate the globe. But the other side of Iliad, as we know, the freedom of choice gives you the ability to create your own boat, your own layout, with your own personal touch. And I'd like to show you around this uh, Iliad 70 and what the customers uh, have done with this boat. They started with one thing in mind, and that was uh, lazy, comfortable areas. They didn't want a dining room table inside the boat, so they've created this very nice, lazy lounge area with a TV uh, that sits in the centre of the boat. The way the lounge area integrates to the galley, it's a great social area. The galley's been really well appointed. It's got all your basic uh, appliances that you'd find in any luxury home apartment. Nice thing about this mezzanine helm station, you're in total view of the rest of the boat in communication with your, your guests or with your partner on the boat. You've got a great day lounge on the side of the boat here that uh, while somebody is at the helm, and if I'm having a little bit of a snooze, I've got a full length bed that I can have a rest while my partner or the skipper is uh, doing a passage and if I need to be wake, woken up for any reason I'm right, uh, right beside you. The helm station is uh, very, very well appointed. I really do like this chair. It's got, uh, I can go forward, I can go back, I can adjust the chair to suit uh, whoever is at the helm at the time. Full electronics by Ray Marine. Again, with Iliad catamarans, you can choose uh, Garmin, you can choose whatever you wish. Engine room cameras, forward facing cameras, aft facing cameras, well ventilated, air conditioned, absolute comfort. So, you know, as I said, the uh, the flow from the helm station to the rest of the boat, the communication to the galley, to the aft deck, to the lounge, and unique to uh, this Iliad 70, the owners have decided to put an amazing master suite on the main deck. I've uh, been quite surprised at how well the markets re receive this area of the boat. It's got a pop-up television, it's got ample storage space, cupboards, uh, it's even got uh, a safe uh, in the middle of the boat for any valuables. It's beautifully appointed and then we uh, roll down to an ensuite to the starboard side of the boat. I do like this, uh, they call it a navigation area. It's certainly a, a very comfortable place to keep watch. If you don't want to be at the helm and you are on autopilot, you've got your uh, your touchpad here that uh, gives you all your navigation uh, information and you've got an amazing view of the ocean. I just uh, do love this place. So uh, the, the great um, uh, addition to this cabin of course is the ensuite. You don't have to wander back through the boat. We wander down into a, uh, uh, you know, a quite a, an ample size area for an ensuite bathroom. Uh, they've chosen stone bench tops, uh, stone backing plates for the for the shower. It's quite a unique layout. This I uh, I do love the freedom of choice of Iliad because every bathroom is different on every boat that we've built so far, and this is another example of what you can do with uh, your imagination and your personal choice. So coming out of the uh, owner's master cabin, they've uh, designed a really nice little office nook for working on board. The owners uh, do need to keep uh, the bills paid, I'm sure, and work from time to time. So this is what they've designed as a really nice office nook with a great view out uh, to the port side. I'll take you down just to show you some features of the guest accommodation. You've got four guest cabins, all with their own en-suites on this boat, a combination of doubles and uh, single beds, and uh, laundry and storage areas. So I'll uh, come down in the port side hull They've built a laundry in here with uh, uh, ironing board that just pops straight out from, from a drawer. Uh, they're ironed and uh, everything is in the cupboards here. They can uh, iron the dresses and the shirts for a night out in the town and it's all clean and gone and tidy. 
great storage area, a really unique uh, little cabin here with three single beds and everyone says uh, where's the third bed, uh, of course cleverly uh, put up in the side here, so you've got one, two, three beds, great for those kids and grandkids that you might uh, take uh, with you from time to time. Of course, uh, through the forward door to its ensuite uh, bathroom, which is part of the standard of every cabin on this boat. Going aft, uh, we have a uh, double cabin uh, with a queen size bed. Uh, again, great storage lockers, uh, ensuite with its own bathroom, massive shower, uh, toilet, and all the uh, bits and pieces that you'd expect to see in a luxury uh, hotel room. One of the great things about catamarans is the separation of the accommodation space in the hulls. We're not just separated by a bulkhead or a piece of timber, uh, which is quite common in a monohull boat. We're separated by uh, two composite sections with a big breezy bridge deck in the middle, so we have a really private place on the port and starboard side for your guests. You'll notice uh, the aft guest cabin uh, on the port side here offers uh, a hotel size, uh, you know, room with a hotel size ensuite with a view of the ocean. That's something that's pretty rare in every cabin on, on boats. Most uh, boat cabins, the owner might have a nice view, one of the guest cabins might have a nice view. Iliad uh, has achieved, every cabin has a great view of the sea, regardless of whether the owner or the guest or the kids are having a bit of a time out with the family. So uh, remember we have another level again to the main deck and to the accommodation place on the boat so we'll take you up to the flybridge uh, and on the way I forgot to let you know that we do have another bathroom here with a toilet, shower and basin. This is really a great feature if you're coming out of the water you just want to use the bathroom or have a quick hose down uh, you, without walking through the boat we've solved that, that uh, problem with a lot of boaters. Of course, uh, the barbecue, a monster barbecue with its own exhaust fan, with an ice maker, massive storage uh, for all your plates, uh, more storage through, through the deck of the boat, storage everywhere on this boat is quite amazing. And of course, the outdoor dining table, very, very comfortable for eight people, uh, uh, manageable for 10 people, to 12 people if you really want to fit uh, a big family around the boat. Remember this boat sleeps 13 people in beds. We've got another cabin I haven't shown you forward. It's actually a skipper's cabin with a double bed. So we actually have six cabins, seven bathrooms on this customised Iliad 70. Now let's go and have a look at the flybridge. So wow, what, what an area. This is uh, uh, another amazing entertaining area within the boat. We've got a self-contained galley and bar with its own ice maker, fridges, hot and cold water, full galley storage below. A helm station that provides uh, all your navigation uh, equipment you need for short-term, long-distance passage making, bow thrusters, cameras for your engine rooms, are facing cameras. If you've got kids that are on board, you can keep an eye on them. Uh, if you're just uh, travelling light-handed, you can see what's going on around the boat without being everywhere. So uh, the way the owners have uh, put this layout together with our design team, they've got a big day lounge up here. It's not a place to lay in the sun. It's really just a place to lay around, read a book, relax and enjoy the view of the ocean or a view of the bay that you're anchoring in. We've cleverly designed uh, a great locker here so every cushion that's on this boat can be stored in this locker. You don't have to take your cushions down to another locker on the lower deck, something that customers have given us a lot of feedback over the years. And of course you've got seating here for 15, 20 people if you really wish. Of course, uh, this owner doesn't mind a quiet cold beer, so he's got ice boxes and fridges everywhere. You can fill that full of ice and throw some champagne in it, and, uh, or you can use the fridges behind the bar. On the aft deck, uh, this particular Iliad 70 owner 
has made a combination, it looks like a jigsaw puzzle here because we've got a number of inserts in the deck. The idea of this, he can carry a small tender, he can lift his uh, tracks to a uh, so we can carry a longer large tender, we can move this one, of course. So a long tender, small tender. He's got four of these trucks, so he can carry a five metre tender, a three metre tender, and he's even got an uh, 850 kilo lift. This is a, uh, a Ben and uh, Zoni crane, this will lift a tonne and he puts a Harley Davidson motorbike that sits in a cradle here behind his tender. So on the back he's got a jet ski, so not a bad boat. He's got two tenders, a Harley Davidson and a jet ski. As you can see, this is one of the greatest safety aspects of an Iliad 70. We've got a very wide, safe, secure walkway, uh, we, which leads into the foredeck area with, a, again, an ample amount of storage, both sides centrally also forward lockers. This is a great little sun lounge area. You can have this fully covered with an awning that sits out on two posts or you can keep it uh, nice and open for an afternoon like this in Sydney. Uh, this is a really uh, great place to relax. We've doubled up the anchor locker uh, as a table. It's a great little place just to keep your, your drinks and your hors d'oeuvres but uh, a great access point to your chain. You can see all your anchor and chain through this locker. For servicing and access, we've got another deeper locker behind here, which uh, is where the anchor drops into the boat. And of course, we've got uh, self-spraying uh, water <clears throat> jets that wash the anchor as it comes in. And uh, I like the way the design team have cut out this forward section so when you're sitting on this boat, you get a nice view of the sea going forward. It's got very pretty bows, this boat. I think cats can look a bit awkward in the bows, but uh, I think uh, Riccardo Bulgarelli's done a great job again with the Iliad 70, making a boat that doesn't just look stunning on the water, but uh, rides at sea as good as any boat that I've been on. So uh, there's another really interesting part of this boat that I'm uh, really thrilled to show any uh, newcomer to boating or any experienced boater, and that's the amount of storage we've achieved in the Iliad 70. In the back uh, here, in the back lockers, we've made these great big dive kind of storage lockers. This boat hasn't been completed yet. This is gonna house a dive compressor, eight dive tanks, all uh, hooks, wetsuits, and snorkeling gear. Uh, through the back here we also have a 4.2 metre uh, locker, great for kayaks, for so this is going to house uh, wakeboards, paddle skis, uh, uh, stand up paddle boards, small kayaks, it's a great area. Uh, you, you can open one locker at a time or all of them together again another great use of space we've made it we've made such a good use of space on this boat okay so uh, look i hope you've enjoyed this brief look at uh, iliad uh, the iliad 70. i could spend another hour showing you around this boat but uh, i think you've got to come down and see it for yourself it's a fantastic new release we're very proud to be involved with iliad and the iliad 70 and thanks for your time